Hello everyone. Welcome to Redline Diecast Calls. Today I'm going to go through a short tutorial about boards on the Beach Bomb, right? The Volkswagen Beach Bomb. Yeah, it's one of the most popular Redlines. Uh, you know, the Hot, line, Hot Wheels Redline era. Um, you know, the Beach Bomb came in a variety of uh, Hong Kong only uh, manufactured colors, uh, both light and dark interiors. And the blister pack also included a hippie flower power, <laughs> flower power decal sheet. You know, the surfboards, that's really what the topic of today's conversation is. Um, they've been reproduced over time because, you know, when you figure um, a car given to a child and the surfboards were removable, nine times out of ten, the original boards are long gone <laughs> by the time you get your hands on it, in either in a collection or a trade, or you find it at a trade show or online or whatever. So today I want to just talk about what is the difference. And there's a couple of different subtle differences between boards that are original and boards that are reproduction. Just the topic is only going to be on the beach bomb because the U.S. and the Hong Kong Diora which had surfboards, is a whole other topic, right? So many cool things about red lines. So I'm going to take these two right here. Uh, these are reproductions, and I'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to put the reproductions on either side of the turntable there. But the best part is let's start with what is an original. What's an original red line era Hot Wheel Beach Bomb surfboard and that would be the green one here, the white interior. These are capped wheels. Capped wheels came on uh, later on in the life of the Hot Wheel. They originally came out in, like what's shown here, this Aqua has got bearing wheels. And then uh, the one, the green one I just forgot. But here's the key, the boards. The boards really have to be flexible. That's the first thing you look at is how, it's almost like rubbery. It's, they're very pliable, very pliable boards. Um, let me get some light on this so I can show you. Show you the board here. That's what it looks like. Both. Very. They're almost like, I'm going to use the word rubbery. They're almost rubbery. Very pliable. These are original Beach Bomb boards. original beach bomb boards look at the um the fin or the ski in the back look how thin that is look how thin that uh, that that ski is see very thin the underside there's no markings mattel did not mark the boards on the beach bomb they um <clears throat> they were only marked with the casting number for the U.S. Diora. So here's the key. Look how simple and easy that is to, to slip into the into the side slot. Very easy. And the board, because it's so easy to get in and out, you usually don't see a lot of wear on the board. You usually don't see a lot of wear. You know, scrape marks and that kind of thing. Both sides. Very. Be very careful on your on your boards, removing boards and taking them in and out. That ski sometimes can be very very vulnerable to be broken off and I have several of those too. I'm not going to show you those today but so this is the original. The green would be the original board. Let's take the Aqua as an example. The Aqua which has bearing wheels so it's a little bit earlier run. The boards are not OG. Now look at the different the differences. It's kind of stiff first of all and also the skis are well I think this has been interchanged See the skis on here? Look at those look at the undersides there. Look how thick those are. Right? They're reproductions. As far as I know. Versus, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to put this back into the aqua. They slip in, but you really got to push hard to get it into that side slot. Yeah, on both sides. It's kind of tough, and I'll show the, um, the thickness of the board, too. The width of the board's a little different. Compared to what you just saw to some really mass-marketed, mass-produced 
reproduction boards, very shiny. The plastic is very shiny. See that? And they're very stiff. Ooh, yeah, very, very tough to move. And then here is the, um, the back side. See that? A little thicker, right, versus the uh, original. Yeah, just be careful. You know, nine times out of ten, if you get a, um, I shouldn't say that high percentage, but many, many, <laughs> the number of collections I've seen and, and purchased and sold on my Facebook site, uh, I tell you what, there are so many reproductions out there. you got to be super careful. So um, those will be reproductions. The last car is an olive. Olive is a tough color. This is a later run, and those are also caps. That's a cap right there. And this guy, kind of flexible, but not really. Again, I'm going reproduction on these because look at the, uh, look at the height of the, of the actual fin. Very low versus the other one. Just, yeah, just be careful when you're buying a collection to make sure that you get the straight skinny on the boards if they're original or not. And sometimes you can tell by looking at them as far as the, um, how, um, how scratched up and etc. they are. Like, this is really tough to get into the side loader. Uh, very tough to get in there. You got to push and push and push. Ends up getting scratched, you know. Same thing on this side. Let's see if this goes in. Maybe a little bit easier, but again, that, that ski is pretty much the, the, uh, the indicator. Uh, anybody has comments, go ahead and add your comment to the, uh, to the comment section. If you've got uh, your experience with, um, with Redline original boards or not. But I just want to give this quick little tutorial on what my experience has been with the Beach Bomb and the uh, identifying original versus reproduction boards. I hope this has been helpful to you. Do subscribe and like. I'll have other videos coming out soon. I've got a big collection coming in. I'll be doing a box opening, a couple box openings coming up soon. But I uh, hope we all have a great day. Drop me a line sometime. Uh, Diecastcalls at gmail.com. Until we meet again, bye everybody.